you what's up, Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today I have a little Jeepers Creepers 4 update. We have some brand new footage from the film, like from the, like the behind the scenes and all that, that I want to talk about here in just a second. But first I'm going to need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also please consider supporting me on Patreon, the link for that will be in the description below. Alrighty, now let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, I'm Pennywise and Sinclair. Oh, no, not the beast! God, don't do that. Well, sometimes that is better. Now, I've been really cracking down lately on people spoiling things in my comments section. I've had a lot of jerks come into my Halloween Kills videos and spoil stuff from things that have been spoiled on Reddit. I really don't want to know exact things that happen in a movie before I see it. I think people who, like, spoil movies for themselves are kind of insane. It's just a personal thing. I really don't want to do any of that here. I will say that the behind-the-scenes footage for this new Jeepers Creepers, though, doesn't really spoil anything, so I feel okay talking about it. But, if you don't want specific events spoiled in the movie, you might want to skip this video. Because I am going to talk about some stuff we get to see and kind of, like, comment on, like, what could possibly happen here. It's not anything that would necessarily, like, spoil the events of this movie. We already know the Creeper's going to co be coming back. Like, we can't have a Jeepers Creepers film without, like, the Creeper in it. That would just make no sense. But I'll totally understand if you want to skip this video and be, like, just surprised by the movie sometime and well who knows when this thing is coming out so I'm not going to be putting any of these videos within my video but I will like talk about them and leave links for them in the description below so the first video is the creepers truck driving down like it right into this like electrical like substation or something and then it like explodes and then there's all this fire the creeper gets out and walks out explosion behind him it's like I mean kind of a stereotypical action scene but it looks pretty cool I mean, I guess if you care for the Creeper's truck, uh, I think it's gonna be a goner in this new movie, so if that's a spoiler, well, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry I spoiled the fate of the Creeper's truck. I mean, I, I know everyone loves that. It's their favorite thing about this movie. Remember in Jeepers Creepers 3 when it shoots out a CGI harpoon? Everybody loves that, right? <laughs> Right? So the truck exploding at the substation looks really cool. It looks like we're gonna get a shot of like the creeper walking away from the explosion and he's like, he's, he's a cool guy so he doesn't look back at the explosion when it happens. Of course, that's what cool guys do. But the most interesting shot we got was this one in front of a green screen where the creeper like flies in and like picks somebody up. Now, there's these two actors that I noticed, like, sitting, like, in the middle of, like, this set or whatever, and the one kind of pretends like he's taking a picture of, like, the, this other actress. So, like, my guess is maybe we're gonna get, like, kind of, like, a silly scene in here where it's, like, this guy trying to take, like, a picture of his girlfriend or something, and then, like, the creeper swings in and, like, picks her up and steals her or something. That's kind of what it looks like to me, and that's why I'm like, what is going on in this scene, man? We already know that one of the settings of this film is going to be this, like, crazy horror horror convention, so maybe the creeper just like drops in, literally, and starts just like murking people. I could definitely see that happening. Especially if he was awakened from like his super long slumber at some point, like at the beginning of this movie. He needs to feast, he needs to heal up his body with other people's parts, so that would be the way to do it. We also get another video where we kind of get to see like a little more of a close up on the creeper and his makeup. And God, let me tell you, it looks very similar to that photo we got leaked a long time ago earlier this year. Um. Yeah, the make the creeper makeup doesn't look fantastic. It does look like a little low budget. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of expecting this film to look very low budget and not be all that fantastic if, I, if I'm being real with y'all. Whatever it is though, I still think it's gonna be better than Jeepers Creepers 3. The director's still being super weird on like all of his social media platforms about it. People keep asking, like, what is going on with Jeepers Creepers? And he keeps po in like literally every post, he's like, stop asking me about Jeepers Creepers. Who cares? It's just like it seems like to me, it's crazy. It's like, how could you not be excited about your movie? Like, why would you not want to, like, post and be like, oh, I'm so pumped for this, it's gonna be great, and this guy doesn't want to talk to his fans about it, he doesn't want to, like, express anything about the film, it just gets me very, very worried. Finally, we also got a picture of Jack Taggart's post-puncher gun that he uses in the second film, which I guess was on the set of the new Jeepers Creepers film, giving us a little more confirmation that we're going to be, like, taking, this movie is going to start off 23 years after that last one. Or I guess the second movie, because technically that is the last one, because these movies go in order of like 1, 3, 2, which is really bizarre. I mean, it was kind of already confirmed that this movie would be that sequel. I mean, like, where else would they go in this franchise? They're not doing another movie that's tucked in in that first 23 years. No, we're moving forward here. We are going to the next 
little line of like the creepers feasting. I mean, nonetheless, I am pretty excited for this film. It doesn't look all that great. I have some like not so good feelings going into this movie, but I think it's gonna be good. There's no Victor Salva this time around, which is like a massive plus. What do you guys think about Jeepers Creepers Reborn? Are you excited for it or like not really? Leave me a comment about it down below. Thank you all so much for watching my new Jeepers Creepers 4 update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Just look up Killjoy Jake and I'll come up. Please consider supporting me on Patreon as well. The link for that will be in the description below. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all. Mm -hmm.